Hey guys, in this video, we will learn about the basics of Lightning Web Components using a simple Hello World example. Before that, what are these Lightning Web Components? If you see the 2014 web stack, the web standards didn't have much capabilities and we had to use an additional JS framework on top of it to do things like data binding, UI components and some complex navigations. In 2019, the web standards started supporting more features and the framework had very little job to do. Lightning web components are built on top of this modern web standards and lightning web components are lightweight. Hence, they have much better performance when compared to Aura. Now, let's see how to create a Lightning Web Component using a VS Code. I open the command palette and choose the command Create Lightning Web Component. Let's give it the name Sample and choose the default options. Now you can see here that the sample lightning web component is created and you can find three files. One is the HTML file, the JS file and the meta.xml file. The HTML file as you know contains the UI code for the component. This HTML file starts and ends with a template tag and whatever code you write in between that forms the UI for this component. The JS file is the most important file and it contains the controller logic for this component. Each and every JS file has a class with the same name as the component and this particular class extends lightning element. This lightning element is a wrapper which Salesforce provides on top of the standard HTML element. So these are part of the web standards. And this lightning element we import from the LWC module. The meta file contains all the configurations that are related to this lightning web component like where exactly in the salesforce environment this particular lightning component needs to be exposed or like what are the inputs that we need to pass into this lightning web component from the app builder and things like that. Now let us take a look at this hello world example. So this is a simple page where you can find a button called click here and some text hello world. So when I click on this button, it shows button clicked at and the time at which I click this button. So as and when I click on this button, you can see the time is getting refreshed. So let's see what is happening behind the scenes. Let me close this and open the hello world component. So as I mentioned before, the component has three files, the HTML, the JS file and the meta.xml file. So let's take a look at this HTML file. So this HTML file has a lightning card and we have a lightning button here which handles a click event and there is something inside curly braces. So the thing that you see here inside curly braces, we call it as expressions. So we pass the value for these expressions from our JS file. So we can see it uh, later. Yes, this is the JS file. So first we have imported the lightning element as I told you before. And we also include something called track. So track is a decorator which lightning web components provide us. So whenever you use the track decorator with the variable, this particular variable becomes reactive. That is, whatever value you set to this variable, it automatically gets displayed in this expression. So this is where the expressions play a very key role. So whenever the value for this particular add track variable changes, the framework recalculates all the expressions here and shows the most recent value. And also we have the handle click method. So how this works, when the user clicks on this button, the handle click method gets invoked and inside the handle click method, what we are doing is we are changing the value of this add track variable and showing the time. So whenever the value of this track variable gets changed, the framework recalculates the expression display string and displays you the most recent timestamp. So that's what is happening here, whenever I click here the variable value changes and the framework refreshes the expression and shows you the time. 
the meta file has the config related to this component. So we have given the name as hello world and you can find the target stack. So here we are specifying where in the Salesforce environment we want this component to be displayed. So here we have specified like uh, in record page, app page and home page, this particular component will get listed. So we can use it there. Another thing that uh, you might be interested is this one, the lightning hyphen button and lightning hyphen cut. So all these are base components which Salesforce provides us for using within the LWC, that's the lightning web component. Let me edit this page. Since I have specified in the meta file, like this particular component should be listed in lightning record page. We can find this hello world component listed when I open the record page for editing and I can always drag and drop it here. The code for this example is available in GitHub and the link is provided in the description. Also the link for the entire playlist is given in the description. Subscribe to this channel for more videos. Thank you. In the next video, we will see how to invoke Apex methods from LWC to get Salesforce data.